We are in for one heck of a Super Bowl, and we are going to dive into this video on how Kyle Shanahan, the head coach and the offensive mastermind behind the 49ers, will attack one of the best defenses in the league in the Kansas City Chiefs. Kyle Shanahan has been known as one of the greatest offensive minds in the NFL for quite some time now, and he's finally got the 49ers into the Super Bowl but they are going to have an incredible test against one of the best defenses in the NFL, led by their defense coordinator, Spagnolia. The Chiefs are the number two ranked total defense in the NFL, only averaging giving up 289 yards a game. That is just behind the Cleveland Browns. But where we have an incredible matchup is the San Francisco 49ers offense also ranks number two in the NFL for total offense as they average 398.4 yards a game just behind the Miami Dolphins, who basically is just another San Francisco 49ers team as Mike McDaniel came from the 49ers. Let's so let's go ahead and dive into this video. We're going to be taking some clips from the NFC Championship game and kind of show you examples of how Kyle Shanahan is going to attack the Chiefs. As always, if you would like this video, it helps us out a lot. And if you like anything and everything football, and if you find yourself growing in the knowledge of the game, hit that subscribe button and join the community. Now let's get into it. So first, what you're going to see a lot, of course, you're going to get a lot of pre-snap motion with trades and shifts. Things like that to get them a plus one opportunity in post-snap or to give the quarterback an opportunity to get pre-snap reads based off if it's man or zone. They're going to motion right now trading Kittle from left to right. And what that showed Brock Purdy was a man traveled with him, which is almost always going to be man coverage. You still have to get post-snap clarification on that. Once he gets that, he's going to go through his progression. He's going to look... Debo to Christian to a deep out route for Brandon Ayuk against man coverage. Deep out routes are very good. It's hard to guard that, especially with a well-thrown ball. He gets a nice inside stem, and he's able to break this off. And Brock Purdy is going to throw this ball exactly when it needs to be thrown. And it's a great ball placement, and it's a first down. Okay, so in this Shanahan offense, of course, Christian McCaffrey is going to be a key player, whether it's in the run game or the pass game. They motion out Christian McCaffrey to try to just give some window dressing and give Brock Purdy another chance to see is it man or zone. Another defender runs with him, so he is able to predetermine that it's man coverage. He's going to take into his five-step drop. And he's able to recognize that it's cover one man. He's got one single high safety and everybody else is locked up. And he's going to run what's called a dagger concept. You're going to get a deep run off at the bottom of your screen. And they've got the crossing route coming across. And he hits Debo Samuel right there perfectly in stride. Now I'm going to slow this one down because I really want you to see how Brock Purdy is able to deliver this ball. I feel like Brock Purdy gets a bad rap for not being a really good NFL quarterback because he's got all this talent around him. But Brock Purdy is what steers this engine. He's going to get into a five-step drop, and they're going to get a guy who comes loose free right here. He's got to step in and throw this ball while taking a shot to the chin. He gets completely blasted off his spot. But he hangs in there and still delivers a great ball to Debo Samuel. It's a great throw by Brock Purdy. Okay, so on this one here, they motioned left to right, but now there was no one chasing. They just kind of bumped one of the backers out. This is telling Brock Purdy that it's zone coverage. He immediately goes to his zone coverage side, which is back to the left into the boundary with Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel. It is a very good chance that his first progression would have been to the right to the field if they were in man coverage because the chasing and the pre-snap motion. But once no one ran with him, he works back to the left for a high-low read. He recognizes no one is able to get to Christian McCaffrey real quick. It was just a safety having to fly down to the flat, so he got it out there quick to one of his best playmakers. So when we look to the end zone copy, the pre-snap motion forced the safety to call a different check. You're going to see him bring his arm up. He's checking into a different coverage. This is probably a split field coverage where they got zoned to the field, and it could be an invert or some sort of man to the boundary here. But if it is man from the safety trying to climb down to the flats for the running back, it's too much space, and it was a really good decision by Brock Purdy. Okay, so on this one here, they're trading Kittle from the left to the right, 
And you might think that that is the only situation right there, but then they're going to motion again, use check. That's going to give them a plus one in this run scheme. They're running like basically everybody's down blocking on the outside. They're getting a nice pin action for a tall sweep to the outside. Right there, just bump the defense. And now from this position, they are able to give themselves a plus one in the numbers with Kyle Juszczyk going from left to right, right at pre-snap. And that allows him to get up to second level and get a positive gain. And this has been a big feature for them getting big time plays. So on this next one here, now you've got under center, you're going to get play action. And it's going to be very similar to the dagger concept earlier, but now it's on the same side. They are going to run the center field safety off with Brandon Ayuk in the center field. If he does get over top of him, he's 100% in this concept. But it's all to clear out that space for Debo Samuel underneath for this deep dig route. And once again, Brock Purdy is able to put it right where the ball needs to be. And you're going to give him some appreciation when you watch the end zone copy. Now, first off, just look at the box and how loaded it is for the Detroit Lions. You don't get this sort of box unless you are a really good running football team, and that is what they are with Christian McCaffrey. Play action fake, set your feet, and this ball is already out before Debo Samuel is even in the area. That is a very much an anticipatory throw. And then just look at this dot in between four defenders. This is a fearless type of throw, and he leads them. He doesn't throw it high. He's able to catch it and not get blown up. But yet, for some reason, people still think Brock Purdy's trash. I don't understand it. So now if you're seeing a theme, it's a lot of motion, it's a lot of run scheme, and it's play action pass all for that outside run for the 49ers. And here's another example of some more motion. Instead of going inward motion, they go out. This is called an exit motion or a cheetah motion. They're going to exit motion Debo Samuel. He's just going to hitch up and you basically got a high low. To be honest, I thought that he probably should have thrown to Brandon Ayuk on a quick slant, but... For whatever reason, he didn't like it. He gets it out to Debo Samuel, and of course, Debo Samuel, one-on-one -on -one in open field, it's not a bad option. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show this one. 49ers got extremely lucky, and so did Brock Purdy, but this is another example of a downfield concept that they are going to push and try to get plays against the Kansas City Chiefs defense. They are going to run crossing routes between both inside receivers right here, and then Brandon Ayuk's just going to try to get over top of that safety. Detroit Lions did a really good job of kind of creating and covering everything underneath the trash. So Brock Purdy took his shot over top, and it was actually still well defended, but Brandon Ayuk still was able to fight through this ball, catch a juggling pass, and it ended up being a big play down the field. Incredible effort by Brandon Ayuk. So on this next one here, they motion Kittle into a stack formation, and this is what you're going to be called a sale concept, and it's just another way to flood the field. The, the point man, Debo Samuel, is going to run a deep corner route while George Kittle, he's going to set this thing up and make it look like an in-breaking route across the field, but then he's going to bang it right back to the outside. And from here, it's just a flood concept. You've got a deep, an intermediate, and a flat. And that sort of release by Kittle was just pretty nasty. And he's able to get all this green grass, throw it out there. And it was a big play late in this game, what really pushed the 49ers over top. Kyle Juszczyk at the, at the tight end position right here is just going to chip and release into the flat. They keep Christian McCaffrey in to six-man protection. Nice, clean pocket. Perfect throw once again. And it's just another example of how they are going to attack this Kansas City defense. I absolutely love watching Kyle Shanahan get in his bag and dial it up from the offensive perspective. They're going to get at this team. Uh, with, with the success that they've had all year and its condensed formations, its multiple motions, they're going to try to allow a defense to set their strength, but they're always going to have to communicate and reset their strength because they're going to constantly move people. And it's not just motion one guy. They're going to motion two. They're going to motion three. They're going to shift. They're going to trade. And, they're, and they're, they're just trying to create that confusion. In the run game, their outside receivers are going to block down, try to create angles, and they're going to try to get kickout blocks, whether they're trying to pull tackles, guards, or even tight ends. Then they're outside of the run game. Of course, it's the play-action shot plays that are just beautiful to watch. And I've said it multiple times in this video, 
but I just don't think Brock Purdy gets his credit where it's due. Is he surrounded by a lot of people? Of course, it's a great offensive team. It's a great team all together with the 49ers. But as you can see, Brock Purdy is throwing some dimes. He doesn't come without flaws. Of course he does. But man, for a guy who's been selected with the last pick in the NFL draft, it's an incredible story. But this 49ers offense, they've got their work cut out for him because while the story is always going to be about Mahomes and what he can do, they have a legit defense over there by the Kansas City Chiefs that I think has kind of went, you know, under the radar. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section below. Chiefs 49ers should be a really good Super Bowl. I'm excited about it. As always, stay humble, stay kind. Peace.